I'm gonna check that the scope resets. But it did do a fresh install. It's wait. What I want it. Shouldn't be no history. I told him just to erase it. Yeah, no history. 1029, 1029, 1029. Nothing of mine. Oh, this must have been done. I assume over there. Now my history is there, and that's what I want it. I told him to do a fresh install. All right. Check out Windows 10. I like it, guys. They got Adobe installed. Google Chrome. I'll have to sign in all my accounts. It's going to need some updates, apparently. Windows Security, Account Protection, sign in your Microsoft. God, I hope I remember how to sign in my sign in. <laughs> I got so many different devices. I like it, guys. I know a lot of you are kind of down about it, but I think it's where you should go. If you plan on getting six, eight more years out of this tool. See the app still down here. I'll probably have to do some display setup when I get to the shop. This is the function I like. Having windows, that window, extra window. I'm thinking that feature is really going to be nice. Let me open up Google. That's right, we can't get online because I ain't signed on to the Wi-Fi yet, but she'll be, able, she'll be able to use this action to show you. Should be an option once I figure it out again. Let me see. I think you might need a mouse to do it. There we go. Snap left. Snap right. That's what I'm talking about. Like that. It's going to make this right here a lot easier on us. We're not going to be struggling so much to get the thing to do what we want it to. Snap right. See what I'm saying? When we're wanting to do that multi screen Windows 10, this will going to make it rather than us trying to stretch it and do all that weird stuff with the pen. It ain't hard with the mouse, but the pen ass with the pen. That's one feature I wanted to see them have on Windows 10. All right, let's go into the system. Take a quick look. System. Yeah, it seems to be functioning great. I think it's definitely where you guys should go with your Zeus. Windows 7 is, you know, coming to its end. It was a good, good program, but it's coming to its end. Get in there a little deeper with the Windows 10, as you can see. This window feature is really what I was looking for, to be able to jump in and out, sort of like we got on the Mac. So this definitely adds some capabilities to the tool, to me. Not about the rest of you, but for me, I really think it's gonna be good. And of course, we can still blow the screen back up. No big deal. Right back where you were. I wanna see how this feature works at this. Now we got the scope up, and if you want to snap right, there it is. So it's like bam, quick and easy. That, that little feature of Windows I've always liked on Windows 10. I think they added it a year or two ago, and I knew it would be great on this tool. 
and it is looks like it's gonna work great and being able to just jump to another window and it's still hanging there waiting on you you do what you gotta do i think this is really going to give us some advantages on this tool i do all right dudes i am thinking i'm gonna like this windows 10 is definitely what i was wanting to see and it seems to be functioning real sweet fast i mean the speed seems good to me i'm not seeing any issues jumps around i gotta do a bunch of signing in and all that good stuff to set up thought share